Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard, this is Random Street Theatre, and before I get into the movie review, let me remind you that I am doing my For the Ocean promotion, or Save the Ocean, something about Saving the Ocean, up, up until the end of 2018. I'm going to put a, hopefully a video here somewhere, and I am paying to have trash removed from the ocean for every so many subscribers. If you're a subscriber of mine and you haven't, uh, please go to that video and like that video and comment on that video and so far, so on and so forth because we want that video to do well so that I can be forced to pay to remove a lot of crap from the ocean. Yes. Anyway, so one of the films that I saw, I'm ashamed of seeing, I saw it at the cheap, cheap house and then by computer was on the fritz, so I'm only bringing you the review now, I believe it is now on Blu-ray, don't buy it if it is, is Slender Man. And those of you who remember what Slender Man is, there was a series of creepasta pictures of a guy in a suit with no face and tentacles, and, you know, in the background where children are playing, things like that. And there were two apparently mentally ill girls, I believe, who injured their friend in the hopes that they would be taken away by Slender Man to his mansion in the woods. There's a thing over here that I'm hitting. And then there was this movie. And what they've done with Slender Man in this movie is imagine if Freddy Krueger and Bloody Mary got together and porked and had a squid, a black squid for some reason, with a white face, and, well, okay, an emo squid, all right? So it's, it's a white squid that wears black, all right? So the, and the emo squid is a bipolar monster in that what it does to you depends on its mood and how much energy it has. So, yes. Right. That sounds so much better than this movie really is. And this is, again, the problem with the movie is firstly the cinematography is just absolutely abysmal. You don't focus on the characters, a lot of the scenes are painfully dark, it is hard to tell who is who and what is going on, and there is not the tension that needs to happen for a horror movie like this to to come come into being. This this movie is essentially should be if Freddy Krueger were tentacle porn. And then they, they reach in there and they rip out everything interesting to make this a PG-13 pile of garbage. And they just, let's just darken the photo so you can't see what's going on. They're darken the cinematography so you can't see what's going on so nobody cares. And there are things about, like, sacrificing stuff to Slender Man and Slender Man does different things to different people, and it's just, this movie is such a horrible, terrible mess that it's like they went out there and said, we are contractually obliged to make a movie. Let's just, it's, let's just crud it out there. And It's like, do you remember when you were in school and you had to write a report and you were tired and you didn't have a lot of time left, and you had a test to study for, so you just got to the point where you were writing just to write, just to get the numbers in, just to get it that page length. That's what Slender Man is. It is the movie version of the botched report that you're putting together to try and just get through there to get that D or F as opposed to getting a zero and just moving it along. That is how bad this movie is. It is truly just forgettable. Probably why I haven't reviewed it until now, because I literally just forgot I had watched it repeatedly. And that's Slender Man. So yes, again, that's just my opinion, and you know, hey, I've, I've been wrong before. So if you could, leave a comment below, tell me how wrong I am, and uh, we're going back to the point where I'm saying, yes, I have a a Save the Ocean promotion where it would be really nice if you guys would check in there, like that video if you haven't, leave a comment, and if you haven't all, if you have already left a comment, I want you to leave another comment 
if you watch the video to this point. It is Emo Squid. Just go to that video and type in Emo Squid. That's what I, that's what I'm counting on those of you. I'm going to find out how many of you actually watch this video. Go over there and type Emo Squid. Yes. Comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Richard Leland Neal. And I'm going to save the ocean so that emo squids can live in peace.